not as smooth as on the, the right side and there's a slight difference in the protrusion but overall it works but that's kind of a, a slight downer as far as the Glock 21 SF is concerned. Other than that, there are no real differences between this and the 21, as I said, um, besides the fact that this has an ambidextrous magazine release. Uh, there is one, uh, however, there are basically two striking differences being the ambidextrous magazine release and the type of magazine. Now, the Glock, <clears throat> the Glock 21 SF uses a different type of magazine than the standard 21. Uh, the Glock 21 magazines will not fit into the Glock 21 itself. They have a special magazine with a little metal insert and a little cutout here. Um, the price of the magazines uh, are still the same pretty much in Atlanta. About, I can get them at the uh, police distributor for $21, $22, something like that, which is a good price to me. Um, the, these mags, the newer mags, will fire, fit and uh, function in the standard Glock 21, but the Glock 21 magazines will not uh, function in the Glock 21 SF model. So that's another major difference. We have the, once again, we have the ambidextrous magazine release and the type of magazines. There is a difference. So that's something for the buyer to be aware of. Uh, other than that, it's a typical Glock firearm. Uh, Glock has a lot of different models coming out. They have the, uh, I believe it's the RF or something like that, uh, which is uh, RT, might be RT, RF, rough texture or rough feel. I didn't pretty much care for that, but I did want the uh, ambidextrous feature. And I think M the 21 is the only model, I believe right now, that has the ambidextrous feature for Glocks. Uh, I don't know why they just stuck with the 21 model, but it does. And uh, that's one of the main selling points of why I purchased this file. It breaks down just like your standard Glocks. Um, simply make sure to check it magazine out. Chamber clear. Aim in safe direction. Squeeze. Pull the slide back a little bit. One more time. Squeeze. There we go. No real differences. Pretty much the same. Same breakdown, same uh, reassembly as any other Glock. And that's pretty much it. If we want to make a comparison, uh, one thing I didn't show, put that back in. The I didn't show you the breakdown for the Taurus. First, of course, when you uh, disassemble any firearm, you want to make sure it's safe. Take the magazine out first. Check the chamber. Did have my dummy round inside. Double check. You can never discount safety. Check as many times as you need. Uh, as far as the Taurus, once you make sure the magazine is out, the chamber is clear. Uh, it's a simple breakdown feature. You take the slide rear it rearward and lock it you take this lever here break down lever turn it down and just pull it out come straight out like that then you release the slide but when you release the slide do it carefully don't let it just sling sling forward and as you release it pull the trigger and it'll disconnect the slide just like that like most semi-autos, uh, just take the uh, recoil guide out, your barrel. Now, in comparison to the Glock 21, the weight of the Taurus is 24.3 ounces from what we weighed empty, 35 ounces uh, with a full magazine in it. The Glock was 26 ounces, 26.3 ounces. Uh, empty and 38 ounces, 38.2 ounces uh, completely full. So um, that's kind of a difference in weight uh, with there being a slight advantage to the uh, to the Taurus. The Taurus is a little bit lighter than the Glock 21. 
uh, even though the Glock has a, they're both kind of equal in um, almost in size, but the Taurus is a little bit lighter. Has a, a the actually also one thing that might contribute to that is a slight difference, but there is a difference, and the Taurus is actually a little bit lighter. Uh, the barrel is actually a little bit thinner. If you look at the the uh, the barrel uh, forward, you can see that it's it's. I was measuring it too, and it's actually a, a little bit thinner than the Glock barrel. The Glock bar barrel is actually a little bit uh, a good deal thicker than the. Um, the Taurus is, uh, barrel. One thing too, the the length on the Taurus barrel is the Taurus barrel is thinner and a little bit short. It's 4.2 inches when the Glock is 4.6 inches in length. So that's something to take in mind. It might speak toward the uh, durability of the different farms. I believe the Taurus is made in Brazil and the Glock is made, uh, of course, it's Austrian farm, but it's made. They have a factory here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, so. The Glock is, is, you know, has a good history as far as reliability. I think it may be a little bit better made than the Taurus, but not trying to put one or the other. But uh, if I had to really, if it really came down to it, I would side with my Glock before I did the Taurus. The Taurus, not to take anything away from the Taurus, it's a nice weapon, but uh, I would definitely have to go with the Glock. Getting back to putting this gun back together, just take the slide, put your barrel back in, just like you took it out. Uh, the Taurus has kind of a dual spring thing here. Um, dual plunger, which kind of, I guess, helps dissipate the recall a little bit better. Compress the spring, slide it back into the groove, slide the, um, put the slide back on the frame, pull it back, lock the slide back again. If you look here, there's an opening. You have to be make sure that when you're sliding your pin back in that the barrel is forward. The barrel has a tendency, as you can see here, to lean all the way back. If you try to do that and put the, place the pin back inside, you're gonna have some problems. It won't feed smoothly and it won't go in because you'll be blocking it. So basically make sure the barrel is pulled completely forward and turn your pin with the little cutout facing upward. Use that to push that spring down. There's a spring right here. And you need to kind of have it upward to push that spring down. Then you just work it back in like that. Your head snap once you know it snapped, it's in there good. Release the slide, check it a couple times. I pinch my hand there, and that's it. Put the safety back on, put the magazine back in, and that's pretty much the review and the comparison between the. Taurus PT247 Pro DS model and the Glock 21 SF, my current carry. Thanks, and until the next review.